A MagSafe adapter that supports Thunderbolt 3? Let's check this out. Dave Taylor here, and you know, there's a lot I really like about all the generational updates to the MacBook line and to other devices that are now using USB-C, but the thing I really miss is that MagSafe connector that typified and characterized all Apple laptops until they switched to USB-C. Now, I don't know what it is about USB-C that meant they couldn't do MagSafe, but it's more dangerous now. So, third parties are coming out with MagSafe adapters, and you can use them for power, sure, that's pretty easy, but can you use it as a Thunderbolt 3 connection? Well, one of these companies can do that. That's this. This is the MagRig adapter, and it's easiest to show you that the tip comes off, it's a magnet, so you can see that, right? So, obviously, I can plug it in, it's USB-C on one side and USB-C on the other, so I can power my computer with this, that's not very interesting. And of course, if someone trips on the wire, the whole thing just comes off super easy. That's really handy. But what makes the MagRig adapter so cool is that it actually does support Thunderbolt 3, and they're the only company that does that. Thunderbolt 3, you might not even be using it, but you should. So, here's what I have. I have this glorious Samsung X5 Thunderbolt 3 SSD drive, and it is screaming fast. It is just ridiculously fast. In fact, I just reviewed it, so go and check out that video too. Now, the question is, can I use this with their adapter? Now, they say yes, but let's actually give it a test. So, first off, let's open up my computer. And it's handy, they gave me two of them. So here's, there's a gray one and there's a silver one. So we can use both in this test, right? So I'm powered up, that's great. And I have this adapter, but before I do that, I'm just gonna plug it in and I'm gonna run a speed test. There's a black magic disc speed test. And you can see here are the results and it is pretty darn fast. If you ran this for your drive, even your internal drive, you might not get numbers this fast. Now, what MagRig says is that these work for any USB-C device. They'll work with USB 3.1 Generation 1, which offers five gigabits a second, USB 3.1 Generation 2, which is known as Thunderbolt 2, and that's at 10 gigabits a second. But then the glorious one is USB 3.1 Generation 3, known much more commonly as Thunderbolt 3, and that gives you 40, gigabit, uh, 40 gigabits per second. It's a tricky one to say. That's really fast. But what makes Thunderbolt 3 super interesting is that you can daisy chain up to six devices. So you could have a display and a hard drive and another Thunderbolt 3 device all hooked up off of one. You can also power two 4K or one 5K display off of a Thunderbolt 3 wire. Now, you need special wire. You need a wire that identifies itself as being Thunderbolt 3. If it doesn't say that, it probably doesn't support it. These are not inexpensive wires, but you need it because it's just vast amounts of data pushing through. It can also deliver up to 100 watts of power. So again, that Thunderbolt 3 can do all sorts of magic stuff. It's actually a pretty sweet system. But, you know, wouldn't it be nice to have MagSafe with it? Well, enter the MagRig. And what's nice is the MagRig actually, it has the company logo on one side, but on the other side, there's a subtle little LED indicator that tells you if it's powered on. So if I take this and I turn it upside down, you can see in this close-up, the little LED just lights up and it's actually really handy to see that. Again, not only did we lose that MagSafe ability to not worry if someone trips on your cord, but we also lost that visual indicator that things were charging and ideally were fully charged. Why did we lose all that, Apple? I really miss that, it's really nice. But back to this, Thunderbolt 3, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the mag rig and I can put this on either end. This is really handy. So I can say, let's plug it into the drive and then I will have the, you know, plugged hard into the computer or we can do it the other way. And I kind of prefer the other way. So we have our Thunderbolt 3 drive and then we have the wire and that is 
via the mag rig. I'm going to just plug that into the side of my, this is a 2019 MacBook Pro and it supports Thunderbolt 3 on all four of its USB-C ports and the drive is up, the display is, you know, everything's working. <laughs> and so the question is, what if we run that speed test? So I'm going to run that Blackmagic speed test again, and you'll see it actually gives me not only the same results, it's actually a smidge faster. So running this test a lot, I've seen that it varies a little bit up and down. So don't get hung up on exact numbers, but just look at that throughput. We're definitely not seeing any performance penalty by using this. And if someone says, hey, can I borrow your drive? And they do this, you're like, <gasps> but you didn't break anything, right? There's nothing broken and stuck in the USB port or anything. Now, you know, from the perspective of disk caches and stuff, what I just did is not really recommended. It's not really how you wanna deal with external drives, but hopefully, especially if you're just doing it for reads because you're reading data, then it's not gonna really affect you much, but generally speaking, you should eject your drive. I just test things, right? But What's important to notice is it works. It actually offers a bridge that gives me MagSafe in the Thunderbolt 3 world, and that is pretty darn cool. Now, here's the thing is that these guys are actually busy and they're up on um, Indiegogo, and they're offering a really good deal. So let me close this and let's unplug these. Oh, <laughs> one thing I should tell you is that the package comes with this funky little plastic pliers or tongs or something, right? You will need this. You will not want to lose this because when I do this, now I have to get this out, right? And if I do this, I can definitely unplug this and I have this piece, but I now have that stuck on either side, right? So use these little mini wrench or whatever you want to call it. And it just makes it super easy to get the tip out, which you can then just drop in. Now, check out this close-up. There are a lot of pins on that connector. This is not just power and ground or something like that. This is a very complicated piece of electronics. So, you know, you definitely want to treat it with care and you want to be able to get this thing out. There we go. There's the other one. And I'll just put that on here and take this off. So here they are and gray, silver, and let's talk about the price, but before we get to the price and I tell you about the whole Indiegogo thing, let me ask if you can subscribe to my channel. Super helpful. I get access to tons of gear, even stuff that's not even out yet. And I am really honest with my reviews and really straightforward. So please subscribe to my channel and we'll be able to stay in touch. How handy is that? <laughs> Great. So these little tiny guys are the MagRig adapters. They are Thunderbolt 3 MagSafe, basically and they're really cool. Their retail price will be $89 for a set of two, but on Indiegogo, they're 55 bucks if you wanna back them now. And that might sound kind of spendy, but remember, this isn't about MagSafe for power. This is about MagSafe for Thunderbolt 3, and that's kind of a different world and much more complicated and way more useful if you're actually working in that Thunderbolt 3 universe, and you should be, because it's totally worth it. Or, if you really want to go hardcore, you can get four MagRig adapters, which will retail for $179, but you can get four of them for $108. You do the math, that's pretty darn inexpensive for something with this much technological expertise and, I don't know, evolution, right? <laughs> so, I like these. I like MagSafe. I wish I didn't have to get a third-party adapter for this sort of stuff, but eh, that's how it goes. So at least we have a good solution and this does give you Thunderbolt 3 and you really want to use it if you can. So go to Indiegogo, search for MagRig. You can find all about what they're doing. And once their campaign is over, I'm sure that will link to their official website. Definitely worth checking out if you're working with these high-speed devices. This is a really nice add-on. It's gonna really save your butt. Just that one time that someone knocks something over or someone pulls out a wire without realizing and it doesn't damage anything. That will be making this very well worth the investment. So with that, I'm gonna plug things back in. I'm gonna run some more speed tests because it's just fun to see how fast it is. And that means I'll catch you in my next video.